Hello guys, this is Tom from Kurosol.com. Sorry I wasn't able to film for ages because of my academic reasons. As you guys know that I'm currently in a university again to do my master's degree. Others were COVID related, health related reasons. I wasn't able to film or I didn't have time really because you know everything was just piling up and I didn't have time to um, actually sit down and to plan how to film or to do anything. I have been reading all your comments that you have posted. Thank you so much for your support so far and thank you for liking the video. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and thank you guys so much for uh, over 500 subscribers so far. I'm very glad that um, and grateful that I've gained over 500 subscribers so far. It's uh, phenomenal. I am enjoying every moment of it and I wanted to continue to uh, film so that I can share my experience and give as much as information to you guys and show you guys uh, what's good and what's not good. Today I have an unboxing video. As always, I uh, bought something from a fine pair of shoes. They're really good website or retailer in the UK. They have a really good uh, range of selections from trickers. Today I'm going to show you guys Berwick because the title will probably say Berwick shoes. Um, they also carry other uh, shoes like MPS or Solovar and then they carry a huge range of Sapphire products as well. So go on and check afinepairofshoes.co.uk. They carry a lot of range that I usually buy from their uh, Sapphire range and sometimes I buy shoes from them as well. But today I bought from the, I bought shoes from them and uh, you'll see why, but I bought insoles as well from them to wear with my shoes that I purchased today. So I already opened the box to check if everything has came properly. As always, a fine pair of shoes sent us uh, this Saphir's uh, leaflet, I guess. It, it's, it's just like a basic care guide of how to take care of shoes. Um, this helped me at the very beginning when I was getting into how to take care of shoes. Uh, this give us, gives you a, a vague idea of which products to use for what. And now, of course, I look at it from time to time, but uh, now I know most things, so I do not need them for now. And... Oh, it's a bit heavy than I expected. Okay, so this is the box from a fine pair of shoes. It's Berwick 1707 pair of shoes. And it says Kudu Reverse Snuff, Piso Crepe, and 10 millimeters. So in size 45, this is equivalent to UK 11. Uh, these are Kudu leather shoes. That was my first Kudu leather shoes. I wanted to buy Kudu leather because my name of the YouTube channel is Kudu Soul. And if you guys are wondering why my name is Kudu Soul, it's because Kudu means formal shoes in Korean. Me being ethnically being a, a Korean. And Soul means actually a brush in Korean as well. So Kudu Soul means a, you know, a formal shoe brush. But also makes sense with like kudus, you know, and soles. But yeah, anyway, that's, I made a, I made a video about that. Uh, have a look at it. But today I bought these and I was confused because the insole wasn't there because I ordered, ordered like a Saphir's insole with them. And on the receipt it says insoles, but uh, I think when they check the uh, shoes, they put it inside the shoes so that probably doesn't get damaged or something like that. And this is also a Saphir's insole. I'll explain why in a bit that I ordered a pair of insoles to use with the shoes. So it's my first time purchasing Burrick shoes, but Burrick's pretty uh, well known among people who likes Goody Welty shoes. They do produce really good quality Goody Welty shoes. I've heard, I've never had any Burrick shoes before, so I can't confirm with you guys, but I've heard that their quality is very good. These are basically desert boots well, with the vocation decor at the top. I, I bought these for summer because it's summer and I wanted to have a pair of vocations for, you know, just to wear with shorts or even with uh, thin chinos. And here we go. So these are the shoes. Also, I love, they, they gave us a, a dust bag. Obviously, you guys know why I love dust bags. I do use them quite often when I'm bringing my shoes around. 
So it's a good thing that they gave us a dust bag. So at first glance, uh, I can tell that the suede looks very, very soft and they are very, very soft. Um, if you guys don't know what kudu is, kudu is an antelope from Africa. I've heard that they're not actually farmed. I was wrong uh, when, I, when I said before they're, they're farmed. But they're not farmed, they're only hunted for now. The leather is an animal byproduct because local people consume kudu's meat anyway. So the leather is something that they're gonna throw away, but it's a byproduct that now they can, you know, reduce animal waste and use the leather to actually produce something like that. Also, they can make more money. Uh, local people can make more money by selling kudu leather to tannery and tanneries will sell it to uh, obviously shoemakers and produce something really lovely like this. Uh, the leather itself is very, very soft. I can, I can feel it. It's very soft. It's not very thick, but that's good because I didn't want thick leather for summer shoes. The soles are crepe soles and the stitching is stitch down method. On the website for a fine pair of shoes, they say it's felt shown, but it's basically welt is sewn to the outsole uh, to, to stitch them together. I chose the natural colorway for the stitching. They also have brown colorway for the stitching for this exact color of leather. Also, they do have darker brown leather, but I chose snuff color rather than the dark brown color. You can see they have three eyelets here and obviously here as well. Here's the top. They gave a Mocasian uh, kind of looking decor here. Obviously, this serves no purpose except for decoration, but these look good in my opinion. Obviously, if you watch Bond film, this type of shoes are very popular for Bond fans because uh, James Bond actually wore this type of it's not exactly this, but this kind of looking shoes before when he was uh, running around in the desert um, and made all the fans go crazy, uh, which was pretty cool, not gonna lie. I think that those were actually from Drake's. Forgot the exact name of the shoes with from Drake's, but these look very similar. I mean, I didn't aim to buy, you know, the same looking shoes as Bonds. Um, I was actually considering whether should to buy these or if you guys know Astroflex, I was gonna buy those Astroflex, uh, Duke Flex, or, or, or these, but I ended up buying Boric because I wanted to try Boric, and I heard that Boric has a good, really good quality pair of shoes. Um, if you guys remember, I went to Boric in South Korea when I was in Korea to just film them, to just take a photo shoot with them and, and just go around. They had really good quality shoes. I per Sadly, I didn't purchase any from South Korea because they didn't carry my size. My size is 45 or UK 11. They only carried up till 44 or 10. I had to do a special order, but I didn't really want to back then because I was gonna come back to the UK. So the inside is unlined, which I like. I, I prefer online shoes because obviously this is for summer or, or, or probably late summer, beginning of the autumn as well. And I love that they added an extra leather here to protect the heel. Obviously your heel, when you walk, it's gonna uh, rub against the, against the hillside and they added the extra hill pad so that it doesn't rub too much and your feet doesn't blister or it doesn't get hurt so that you can you know walk on them more comfortably. I think that's a really nice touch. So Berg is made in Spain. They are made in a place called Almansa in Spain. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Sorry for the uh, any of the Spanish speakers but um, they are made in Spain, as I have been told on their website. Obviously, um, I don't know how much pro uh, is produced in Almansa, meaning like maybe they only do the stitching or they only do the, you know, uh, outsoling. I'm not 100% sure because obviously they don't disclose, but on their website and uh, they're famously known to be produced in Spain. So I'm going to say they are made in Spain and the quality is very very good okay guys so i'm gonna cha i changed the angle to show you a more closer look of the shoes i just tried the shoes on as well uh, as you can see the the snuff leather is very very soft it, because it's unlined as well it's very very light uh, when they when you wear on feet because for example if i compare these to i don't know other cordovan shoes that i have or other chaka boots that i have uh, the, le the leather itself is very very light also feels very durable as well, not gonna lie. 
It's just literally a chunk of leather that was in here that's been produced to look like a very nice looking chukka boots or desert boots, uh, however you want to call it. And these are very comfortable. I just tried them on. They fit perfect for my shoes. Uh, sadly, the reason I bought the insoles is because they probably do not have any shanks down here. Uh, I can't really tell, but yeah, yeah, it bends like this. Maybe it does have a shank, but other, I know the other Goody Walter shoes from Barwick has uh, shanks in there, like wooden shank or something like that to protect your feet from uh, fatigue. But obviously uh, these being less priced model and desert boots kind of style model, I expected there will be no shanks. I'm not 100% sure, but it seems like it doesn't because it bends pretty well here. Either Or, or they just put some uh, cheaper shank there as well to uh, uh, protect your feet. But these are not cork field. So basically these are stitched down and this looks like a line of leather as well. So they probably stitched the upper to the leather and to the uh, and they cemented or yeah they cemented the uh, crepe outsole there as well to uh, put those together so i expect there will be no shanks therefore i bought insoles to put them into the shoes uh, to protect my feet from getting fatigue too much because obviously these are healed a bit so uh, this will collapse because i'm very heavy as well this will eventually collapse and not going to be very comfortable if I wear them for a long time but sadly they fit perfectly for my feet so I can't put any insoles in them that's okay I can use the insoles for other shoes are a bit big for me or um, sneakers or sometimes uh, that are a bit big for me to you know fill up the space a bit that's uh, no problem at all for my shoes I want to mention the price point for these these are 125 pounds currently on findpairofshoes.co.uk. Uh, I think these are worth very much for the first impression because honestly, they look really good on my feet. I just try them on. I just love the suede. I just love the quality. And as, as the price point goes, you know, because you, you know, um, you can see that the stitching is ended there, but like price goes, it's 125 pounds. It's cheaper than some Clark Desert boots. I would say, and cheaper than Astroflex for sure. And it's uh, from a well-known brand called Berwick. So uh, 125 pounds, I don't think it's too expensive. And these will probably last a very long time to wear for me anyway. So yeah, so I think personally for now, uh, they're, I think they're worth the money. We'll see soon as I try them and see how they actually turn out to be or you know, to be good or to, to be, you know, worse than expected or something like that. So yeah, stay tuned for the update. I'll wear them a lot for during the summer. I'll, I'll also take a lot of photos on them as well. So yeah, uh, stay tuned. Thank you for watching. This was Tom. I'll come back with more videos soon. Other videos such as my refurbishment for uh, Crocker and Jones video is coming up very soon. So I've, I've got the shoes. I just have to film it. And I'm still waiting on my white boots it's it's, it's a surprise that um i'm not going to say which one it is but it's, it's i ordered them from baker shoes uh but i ordered them in november they still haven't you know dispatched yet i know that the lead time is very long so i'm not too bothered about it but i hope that it arrives soon so yeah stay tuned i'll bring more videos soon sorry for not filming, being able to film very much um, I still am very busy, but I really wanted to film these because these arrived. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments about Berwick or if you have any comments about these type of uh, shoes, desert boots or chucker boots, please leave a comment and thank you. Bye bye.